Good morning, Santa Clarita. I'm Janice Murray. We're here on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show, which is brought to you by KHTS Radio. We are here on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show. I am so excited to be able to introduce these beautiful young ladies next to me. They are here representing the Assistance League. I have Jeannie Carpenter. Um, Stacy Mayfield and Debbie Dole. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much, Debbie and Stacy. I'm going to ask you to um, move your mic down and talk directly into it so our listeners can hear you. We are here to talk about some exciting stuff. You guys, you have one of the most unique and fantastic, wonderful events coming up, that Sunset in the Vineyard. We're going to talk about that when we get into our second segment. But for those community members who maybe have not experienced Assistance League in the community, as you guys are all over the place, let's talk about how you guys um, service us in the community. Okay, well, first of all, I want to thank um, Jerry and Carl Goldman for being so gracious to Assistance League and offering us this chance to be on Nonprofit Spotlight for I don't know how many years, but it seems like every 15. year. 15. We've been but, doing it for about 15. But thank you, and it's always just a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Oh, so, um, Stacy, are you the point person for programs this, this year? Um, well, I'd love to share some of our great programs Wonderful. that we have. One Wonderful. of the most... Well, first, I'm sorry, that not to cut you off, but yeah. tell our listeners what your mission is, and so then we'll understand why you do this, the programs that you, why you offer the programs you offer. Do we have... The, you want to... Debbie knows uh, it. Debbie, what that <laughs> Come is? On, De- okay, um, <laughs> the mission, as I recall, and I... I won't hold you to <laughs> it. Okay. <laughs> this um, is not a test. <laughs> enhancing lives and changing community. Wonderful. And the purpose of that is that... We serve those in need, and hopefully that will carry on throughout them and will have an impact on our community as a whole. Absolutely. And so everything that we do is for our community, for Santa Clarita. Perfect. Very well said, yes. Okay. Uh, and which, which leads to me to my first thing that I was going to mention was our Operation School Bell program that's um, going on right now. That's our biggest program, I would say. And you guys have been doing that for years. We have been doing that for a long, long yes. time. It's evolved quite a bit since we began. And really? Our, How so? We used to just give... Um, shoes and we would go to the elementary schools and bring the shoes to the students and then you know we grew to backpacks and then school clothes and now we're um your connection with with old navy which is just such a wonderful thing um and so we probably um last year we uh, clothed 2,200 students. Wonderful. Elementary through high school. And we've also added a new program to this, which is so great, for the, um, uh, what do you, uh, their older. College. The individuals yes. who have aged out of the foster system. Aged oh, out. Thank you. Yes. That was the term. That's an aged underserved the, the foster yes. um, demographic. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Wonderful that you guys would yeah. pick that up. And and I'm assuming that you're working, c- probably working with COC yes. to get some of that information. Exactly. Get your we hands are on. Partnering mm-hmm. with them. For Wonderful. That. So that's really great. Mm-hmm. So the the kids can come in um, at a specified evening or a Sunday. We've added Sundays. Sunday for some. evenings are yeah. nice. work very well for families. So good. It's good. Yeah. And they have a certain amount of money that they can purchase, and they can just go and get whatever school clothes that they uh, love they need. it. Love it. It's and you guys do that every year in advance of the school year, typically, so that they're ready to go. And the whole, I think, as I recall, the idea is in the old days, kids would get teased because they weren't wearing the labels, the popular brands. And this kind of normalizes things for those families who, who maybe don't have the mm-hmm. funds to, to go out and spend on you know, all the popular stuff. So the kids actually get to pick whatever they want themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. It's, it's a great program. It's going on now through um, the 1st of November. And those children who are uh, uh, can um, take part in that program are made available to you through um, notification from the schools, the counselors, sure. the teachers at the exactly. schools. Because I know somebody's going to ask me, how yes. do I get my kid to get, you know, to do that? Yeah. It has to be a verification. The school that I um, represent, or yeah, I mm-hmm. do represent, mm-hmm. um, McGrath School, um, they they asked me a question the other day. Um, can a younger sibling um, oh. also participate? 
And the answer was if they are enrolled in PK, oh. they can. Mm-hmm. So that is a really nice new yes. um, thing for the families to make them feel really, really good about that. Wonderful. So that's Operation School Bill. And what else do you guys do we for the? We have another really great program called I Care. Oh, <laughs> where we provide we know how expensive eyeglasses eye are. Don't even start. <laughs> and glasses to students in need. Wonderful. This, this um, started a few years ago, and it's just uh, become a really popular program that that's another one that that we're really proud of that's a huge assistance for a family especially a family that's got multiple children and if the kids are having trouble with their vision they're going to have trouble in school so for you guys to help identify that and assist with the picking that up that cost Mm -hmm. up is amazing it's really an amazing thing because they meet us the children who have been identified by the school as needing Mm -hmm. glasses they come to uh, walmart who partners with us and they get another exam and then they get to go and um, pick out what they want to wear. Wonderful. And then a couple of weeks or a week later, they come back and they mm-hmm. get them, and it's, it changes their lives. Absolutely. Those are two very thoughtful programs you guys are running. Mm-hmm. Is there anything for the adults that you guys do? There is a program called Family Ties. And what we do then is... I didn't even know this. I <laughs> just threw that out there. <laughs> so perfect lead in. Oh, pretty good at this, aren't I, Patrick? <laughs> yeah. hmm. that, that's a program for older adults or, or adults who are homebound Ooh. or in a, a facility. Oh, okay. And what would do, do you guys do? We provide once a month. Meals are provided to them and home-cooked meals and in a festive atmosphere. For example, in May, they'll do a uh, Mexican theme. Okay, Cinco de Mayo. Right. Got it. Exactly. Got it. And they also provide for um, birthdays and um, special event gifts, too. Nice. In addition to that, there's a program where we deliver, um, oftentimes through the Senior Center, Loaves of Love. I remember that. Yes. 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 And home baked, sh- home yeah, baked. Bake those little sweet bread rolls. or oh, that's the yeah. Yeah. I'm into the sweets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'd be all over that. Bread, yes, Ooh, <laughs> pumpkin nice. spice, pumpkin oh, spice, nice. and that's done by the uh, members. The members bake those. Mm-hmm. And is that a particular time of year? Um, it happens that's soon, right? Because, soon. <laughs> because well, you know what they, what they do is at a meeting they'll give us a bu- each member two bags and it'll have um, six. Um, little tin foil yeah, containers, containers tins and, and the, the ingredients, ingredients to, nice, and directions to nice. make the oh, spicy oh, they cake. They make it easy for you guys. Yeah, they do. And then you go home, you bake you it. bake it, and then you wrap it up with a bow and stuff, and then it's delivered oh. to all of these people's homes. So Wonderful. it's really nice. Yeah. Oh, you guys are, fun. again, so thoughtful. Mm-hmm. Well, we do things as a big group. And, <laughs> well, and fun. that makes it fun. And then mm-hmm. that's how we all become good friends. Yeah, and absolutely. Stuff. Speaking yeah. of a big group, we have like almost 200 members. I was going to ask you yes. that. And yes. I, I, I just need to be, because so, I will lose my thought, my train of thought. Is there a, a membership opportunity at one particular time of the year? Or can you, tr- you know, can you anytime. become a member at any yes. time? Yes, anytime. any any time. To over 200 members. Uh-huh. It's In amazing. addition to that, we have over 15 assist teams. Love and assist that. assist teams is our auxiliary 50. program. 50. Yes, I'm sorry. 50 assist teams. 50? 5 zero. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Wow. And that is the local junior or high school? Both. 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 Boys mm-hmm. and girls. I love uh-huh. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that, that probably is driven by the fact that they need something to, on their resume. They need some volunteer hours, it's right? True. And that looks really yes, good. Yes, yes, but we yes. also want to instill in them the need to give back. Perfect. Love and it. And they do various different things. Um, they do. They will prepare sack lunches mm-hmm. for Bridge to Home. Love they it. They have canned food drives. They uh, prepare backpacks for the Department of Child and Family Services oh. if there is a tragic event and somebody a child is removed from the home. Mm-hmm. So they have these backpacks to go with them. Now, who, who picks what projects they do? Do you guys govern that, or do you let them run with it? There is a leader There is for that. Who is an Assistance League yes, member. Yes, correct. And they have their own governing board, too. Wonderful. So they're learning a lot about, you know, or, or corporate organization mm-hmm. as well as the purpose of giving back. And Wonderful. they also help in our thrift store. That I don't remember that. That's no. new. On Saturdays, yeah. Wonderful. On Saturdays. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. So mm-hmm. thank you. I'm gonna say thank you to you ladies because you are 
encouraging the next generation of volunteers the, the ones that are going to replace yes. us yes. thank you yes. and i yes. always say take that care of us. That's, well, that's <laughs> right. but i always say that to my nonprofits. if we as uh, as parents or as the ones who are in these nonprofits, don't instill that desire to give back in our kids and in our community who's going to do it mm-hmm. when we're gone right. so thank you guys yes. for taking thank that on and, yeah. and encouraging the young teens to get involved well it's really nice to see you know boys and girls yes. together working towards something and and they are really proud of it, and they can put that on a resume. Absolutely. Sure. It's yeah, a win-win. Sure. What else do you guys have? Uh, well, and the teddy bear patrol that we've been doing Ooh, since yes. we began um, and providing really soft, cozy teddy bears to the fire stations. And, and they use those for what kind of situation? For children that are in peril or okay. if they're frightened, um, anything that they think that they might need um, a cozy teddy bear. Where are it's definitely a good. It's a goodwill gesture, right. definitely uh, for the ambulances. Also, Ooh. are outfitted, uh-huh. and you know, Ooh. an adult or anybody just feels better nice. just being held up. something that shows a that somebody's off. caring for them. Mm-hmm. So, um, I and I think they're in hospital um, and waiting rooms of uh, yes. emergency uh-huh. centers. Care uh-huh. yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yes. So Aww. it's it's just a. So, and then I think actually wherever they're needed, we can get them to yes. them. Wonderful. Yes. Last yeah. year we had a brownie troop come in, and the teddy bears are not just plain; they're dressed. And oh. so the brownie oh. troop helped dress the teddy bears and get them ready for distribution. Oh, very cute. And then they probably got a badge. Yeah, yeah they're, working, oh. they're working towards their philanthropic <laughs> badge. It's a win-win, yes. ladies. We are here on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show talking to the ladies from Assistance League, all this exciting information about their programs that we're sharing. If anyone is interested, you can go online to their website. That is www.assistanceleague. Assistanceleaguesantaclarita.org. Excellent. And they can find us on Facebook. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Or they can just come on Main Street and see our store. Well, we're going to talk about that as we move through the show as yes. well. What is the, is there a phone number that, if somebody's not used to doing the internet kind of thing, is there a phone number that we can give out? There is. I do have one. Right here. 661-255-1991. 1991. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see it. All right. 1991. 1991. Interesting. <laughs> so we can talk a little. If the, are there any other programs you want to highlight? Um, we are doing oh, an event the week after Sunset in the Vineyard called okay. Day of Art, where we'll oh, that have, takes place at the store. That takes place at the store on Sunday, November 10th, from 11 to 3, mm-hmm. and we have saved various different art collectibles, Disney memorabilia. Um, Western Native American art pieces that will be for sale. And um, they're not just imitations, Mm -hmm. but these are real valuable pieces of art that people can get at a significant discount and continue to support our organization. Now, this is the second year you've done that? Yes, I was going to say, we did it last last year year for the first time. And was that successful for you? It was. I would imagine so. It was very well watched. I would imagine so. Quite a bit. Okay, I wrote that down with a big star so I could put that on my calendar. That sounds like fun. That's Mm -hmm. for every thrift shopper's dream to find something of value like that this is the opportunity (laughs) because you guys have already pre-selected and put aside those valuable items Mm -hmm. for this particular day now what time on the november 10th will that take place it'll be 11 to 3 11 to 3 at the resale resale shop shop. Mm -hmm. on main street and that's our usual sunday hours but we're, we are reserving it only for the art event. Wonderful. That's what we're going to be doing. At Wonderful. That time. Oh, and one one last thing we can't forget that uh, a project that we have are the ukuleles. Oh yes, yes that we've mentioned before. A group of our members they have learned how to play the ukulele and they've learned how to play very well, so well that they've taken their act on the road. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they go and perform at. Um, uh, the, the senior center. Senior center. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying the, to think uh, of a place, couple other places the, that they'll the, 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 Yeah. Nice. Uh, many of the um, residential places that, you know, people have these nice apartments, but Wonderful. they need to be entertained and 
So our yeah. ladies are pretty entertaining. So that's so really love fun. that. Yeah. Well, shout that's out to the ukuleles and, and <laughs> continued good work bringing all that cheer to all those um, people that can't get out to get their entertainment. Yeah, that's that's really, right. That's it's lovely. a really cute thing. That's Plus lovely. It's just bonding for our members. It's really and they cute. sing, Wonderful. too. Yeah, they sing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, we are here on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show. We need to take a quick break. We are here by way of KHTS Radio. We're on your hometown station. FM 98.1 and AM 1220. Don't go away. The best live theater can be found right here in the Santa Clarita Valley. The Canyon Theater Guild has been entertaining audiences for decades with top quality musicals and plays. Located on Main Street in Old Town New Hall, CTG also offers workshops for the young actor in your family. For more information, call the box office at 799-2702 or go online to canyontheater.org. Time for a car wash, but fearful of the scratches that go along with it? Canyon Car Wash and Valencia Car Wash proudly use 100% lamb's cloth to prevent scratches and provide the best wash possible. Both locations use environmentally friendly solutions to wash and wax your vehicle, and they both accept all other car wash coupons. Give your vehicle the wash it deserves. Visit Canyon Car Wash on Soledad across from Edwards Cinema or Valencia Car Wash on Creekside Road behind Target. Hometown, your hometown station. This is the Nonprofit Spotlight Show with Janice Janice Murray. We are back on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show. I am Janice Murray. I thought we had five minutes, not five seconds, Patrick. It's always a fun show with me. You know, it is. I'm sorry. We are here with the ladies from the Assistance League. And you know I talk too much and I can't tell a story because I get busted every time. We need to get back into the important business of highlighting the Assistance League. We've got Jeannie Carpenter, Stacy Mayfield, and Debbie Dole. Ladies, we were talking in the first segment about the programs that you guys offer to our community to help assist, to encourage, to empower our, our youth and our elderly population um we we didn't really get big on the conversation about the resale shop but that's an opportunity for anyone in the community who needs a little assistance in terms of their shopping for clothing and household some light household goods Mm -hmm. at a very reasonable price they can come to the resale shop right here on main street correct they're very likely to find something that is brand new that is at a great price absolutely they're Mm -hmm. great finds uh, two weeks ago, I was working on a, I'm not sure if it was a Saturday or what, but a gentleman came in and he said, do you have a tux? I'm like, I don't know. And I went over to the men's department and there was a tux jacket and there was a tux pants. <laughs> and and tell me it fit, fit him. <gasps> How, the, I love stories like that. It was hilarious because we don't yeah. always have a tux and we don't always have a person of the right size right, for the sure. so um and then wow. he found shoes That's it was fortuitous. just it was, it was great <laughs> yeah otherwise he would have had to go rent one or buy one. So um, I, love I think that. the whole total was ten dollars. So Yay. Yeah. That is a plug. Yeah. That's a sales yeah. pitch for the yes. resale shop. Yeah. Well, that and, was a good one. Love and it. And our resale shop has just top notch items. They are very picky. Nothing gets on the floor that That's is torn good. or stained. Good. It's just, just the, the best products that, that they have. And it's nice. They have another place that they will donate those mm. items to. Wonderful. So, so nothing goes go to, to waste. waste. Not at mm-hmm. all. But just for our store, we keep just the, the best. And just because we want everybody to be informed, what are the days and hours? The hours vary. They are closed on Wednesday, but typically they're from 10 to 4. Mm -hmm. And on Sunday, it's 11 to 3. Monday, it's 1 to 4. Okay. And I think that's it. And we have the address. Mm -hmm. If you um, Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Okay. The address is 24364 Main Street. Down the street from the radio station. Yes, it is. You cannot miss it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it's completely... Um, run by the volunteers. Absolutely. We don't pay anyone. It's all just nobody in the organ in our organization receives a salary or a stipend or anything. Wonderful. So we say that to say, when you shop at the resale shop, the money that is raised goes towards the programs programs. and services that you offer. Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. And we want to, because this is the second segment, and we usually talk about the big events that help bring in the bulk of the money for your services, that this year is Sunset in the Vineyard. And it is one of my favorites. It is 
always at the most beautiful uh, private residence of uh, some beautiful family that offers that up. <laughs> we don't want to put you on the spot. But, <laughs> but it is an opportunity for, it's an adult only. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's yes, absolutely yes, an adult yes. only event because there is wine and beer and lots of wonderful food offerings to, to, to help you just network and socialize and have an amazing time. The weather's always perfect. It's you always, you perfect. always dial that in. Yeah. It is. And there's always music, too. There's oh, always good. beautiful yeah. music, like amazing good, professional good, music, good, yeah. and some auction items that are very, very unique. Mm -hmm. I know huh. in the last couple of years, you ladies. I don't know if you're going to do it this year, but it always just, I get such a kick out of seeing how you pick one or two items from the resale shop mm. and build an enormous elaborate basket around it, make it a themed basket. Are you mm -hmm. doing that again this year? Uh, we will try We're to get a sure. team to do at least oh, one okay. of them. <laughs> okay, we need, yeah. we need to see the creativity coming out. Uh, yeah, well... Um, <laughs> I know that's a tough part. That's it a is, tough part. It's a tough part because what we've had in the past have been pretty grand and um, one of things. a kind things. Yes. You can't sometimes you can't right. top that. No. I no, understand sometimes that. Sometimes that can't happen, but we'll probably uh find one item to uh to, to show auction case. off. Maybe. Okay, yes. now this yeah. is May, I'm sorry, November 10th. November 3rd. November 3rd, I'm sorry. November 3rd. So you do have a little while. I'm going to put the ask out there. If there's anyone listening who owns a business, oh. who maybe has a product or a service that they want to offer up to the Assistance League for their auction, is that still amenable? I mean, is that a, a possibility that you guys sure. could take that on? That would be wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Restaurant, uh, mm. dinner Gift for five people, or... ten people. <laughs> it's always nice to, you know, we need... we To do a party want... pack. People want to um, spend money, mm -hmm. and we need to have something for them to exactly. buy. Exactly. Absolutely. Who's in charge of the auction items? Who can we direct them to? Just uh, to me and Stacy, yes. I okay. think. And at they can call Street. you at the number we listed before? Yes. Yeah, that would be perfect. 1991. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So tell us about how the day um, turns out. I've been there so I, many times, I but I want like you guys to explain. If I could, regarding the auction items, if there's an individual out there who maybe has a vacation home or a timeshare they're not going to use this year, mm -hmm. that would be, you know, that's always a received. great yes. item. It is. Yes. It is. Well, you did mention the food. We. We couldn't have this amazing food without the help of COC mm -hmm. and the Culinary Arts Group, or the program. They just have taken this on, how many years has it been now? Six? Uh, yeah, five, at least. Six? Yeah. Was and the pizza oven always there? No. Did you do that for this? No, my, my brother-in-law wanted to have a pizza oven in his backyard mm -hmm. when he redid it. Mm -hmm. So he put it in. And then when the COC ladies realized, hey, you know what? We can use We're going to teach our uh, students how to make pizza so that they can do that in that That's oven. That's such a and, cool... Yeah. And, I mean, it was a great idea. It was perfect. And then, and then perfect. COC it, it so bought perfect. a pizza oven for their own culinary um, school. Department. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so they, they know how to work it. They know how to work it. Yeah. And that's very unique pizzas they make. Yeah, oh, pizza. So yeah, we great. are very lucky to yes, have those are. students. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. And they have so much fun. We have some students that come back year after year. They're not even in the program anymore, <laughs> but they come and help in the kitchen. It's cute. They still wear it's their funny. toque, you know. Oh. You know, they just look, they're just great. <laughs> Love so it. So it's wonderful to have them because Otherwise, yeah, we would be making the food, and it would be crazy. And we used to. We, we used yes. to do that. No, but, but you guys, but it's, now it's, it came it's to elevated another to level. such a professional level Absolutely. now. Definitely the whole has. event, yeah. Yeah. it's amazing. Yes. Yes. And then the yes. wines are beautiful. Absolutely. And the beer is beautiful. How You've many winemakers? We don't need to name them, because somebody's feelings will get hurt if we leave them out. So just right. can we give an idea? Of, you have 20 Ven vintners um, or 30? Well, no, no, not 30. Not 30. About, what, about 20? 20. About 20. That's, yeah. a yeah. That's a lot. It is a lot. And there is a little beer garden, so for those who don't like wine. And the beers are really good, and it's That's very terrible. refreshing. <laughs> In fact, at the end of the day, all of the winemakers who have closed up shop, they're at the beer garden. Yes. <laughs> That's I love it. it. That's what I they want to do. They're like, oh, gosh, I've been working so hard. just want to sit here and drink beer with you guys. So, yes, yes, so yes. November 3rd, from 1 to 4, how do our listeners get involved in all this fun? Well, they can buy a ticket. And online? They can buy it online. Right now? 
Absolutely. Yes. Yes. They wow. are ready okay. to go just through www.assistancelegesantaclarita.org. Www. Org. Perfect. Yeah. Go Perfect. on there now before tickets sell out because there is a, a limit to the number of, of people right, that yeah. you can and have. Tickets are eighty five dollars a piece. And we will if we do not sell out beforehand, we will sell tickets at the door. At the door, but they will be ninety five dollars a piece. Gotcha. That- and I believe you can go to the store and either pay cash or check for oh. a ticket too. Yeah. Yes. Good. Yes. That's nice. Yes. Yes. And, and if they're, they're already there, that's And they're not really trip. getting a ticket. Sure. <laughs> right. right. Yes. Right. 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 They'll be on the list. Yeah. And, <laughs> and there's list. complimentary valet parking, which is really Love nice. Love that. So, because, you know, everybody likes that. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people will Uber. That's probably that what makes I more would sense do. When it, you're does. Drinking. But, it does. It does yeah, make a lot of sense. That would be nice. But we do, we do offer that. And, um, and then we there's have. always beautiful music and, uh, Des- yes. Debbie's husband makes sure that we always have the music. Oh, he's the doll of Dole Humphreys. Yes. 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 Love it. Yes. Love it. Yeah. But he makes sure that he's got all the, a lot of band members. Who, mm-hmm. You know, they play guitar and sing, and, mm-hmm. and so we Music's just get a variety. And, um, and they're always so nice. Just anybody. He it just, makes the atmosphere just well, perfect. It's, it's it does make it, it. does it yeah. does the, the 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 combination of the two houses and the yards connecting and just how you guys lay it out it's just perfect mm-hmm. yeah, it, it is. You, yeah you couldn't do this anywhere else and get that same oh, ambiance absolutely. I don't think so. you couldn't yeah. you, no. you don't ever try and take it to the Hyatt it, right you know, no it's not even the same no. because they don't have a vineyard no. over like my brother in law no, has so. no. <laughs> well and it, again sunset in the vineyard it's you're branded yeah. you can't do yes. this anywhere else yeah. and it is I'm glad you can't because it is just the most unique it is. Fun event. It's fun. Everybody has a great time. Absolutely. And some of the other uh, special things that we have is our bread, Speakeasy Bakery. Yeah. Oh, they they make, yes. Oh, so there'll be cheeses and there's bread. A cheese maker. And there's a, yeah. There is a cheese maker, too. Yeah, cheese. Yes, yes. yes. Corey de Robertus, yes. he is a cheese maker. In fact, he even does um, cheese making classes now at his house. Oh, fun. And, um, and all different varieties. So. And all the vintners will be there with a business card or some kind of promotional. Oh, yeah. So if you like yes. what you're tasting and you want to purchase for your own self, you can't do it at the vintner. Event, Correct. but you could take their mm-hmm. information right. and and do that because later. Because the Absolutely. the um, people from Puchella they started um, they brought their beer um, the very first year that we had. Or no, what I'm sorry, beer? their wine. <laughs> <laughs> they did beer. That's no, I got beer on my mind. But anyway, they <laughs> you you think lunch and the spa? I know but you. They they <laughs> want to get uh, out of here. They came before they had the big winery, and yeah. um, and they then still, and everything still. has just tumbled from there into a much bigger. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, variety of wines and spirits yeah. that are here. Absolutely. So it's nice. Well, I know this year's going to be bigger and better. Last year was sold out? Or, yes, yes. I, I thought I think so. it was. Yeah, yeah, I remember. It was busy to me. Yeah. It was, it yeah. was, it, and you love that buzz, and you love to see people. I saw a lady there last year whose daughter was in Pinecrest, Canyon Country Elementary School with my daughter, and we sat and talked for about half an hour. It was just so neat. I mean, and we both live in San Canyon and never see each other in the neighborhood, but I go all the way to your event and see her there. It was fun. It's such a small world out here, too, because it it, it is just filled with so many legacy people and that live here. And my cousin, always Carol Lynn Walsh, she always got, I mean, you know. Oh, I, she's the best. Yeah, she's, but, you know, but it's the time and the place to go have a good Sunday evening or afternoon. Mm-hmm. Just, the, like I said, the weather's always perfect. It is. And just socialize and, and taste some wonderful wine and beers mm-hmm. and, and have a good time. No, I'm getting And hungry. raise money. <laughs> yes, exactly. For Assistance Lake. Yes. Raises yes, money. Yes, yes. Raises money for Assistance Lake. Of what we do. I and love the way nice. you guys have the, you had those, um, the posters up. Uh huh. With all of our programs, with all your programs, yes, so people yes. can get a little more information. And because people, when they buy a ticket to an event, they want to know where the money's going. Right. What, yes. what What's this money going towards? So that was very a good yeah. visual. And there are and some we do get members that, they don't know. that way. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. See. Yeah. Well, when they see you yeah. guys and how much fun you have together, I'm sure you don't have to push <laughs> your membership on anybody. <laughs> we get a lot of new members from people that come to our resale store oh. and like it so much oh. and see how much fun the members mm-hmm. have working. There there and they're like, I want to sign up. I want to join. Now, you, I'm glad you said that, um, Stacy, because I was going to ask, and I didn't up front, when we talked about membership, are there dues, and is there any specific requirement for your members? 
Like, do they have to work every event or they can pick and choose? No, they can absolutely pick and choose what they want. We understand that people are very, very busy and they may not have time to do everything. So they can pretty much just, there are so many different things that they can do. Yes. Yes. And we have a social committee that puts on, I mean, it takes the, a bunch of, Ladies go to lunch at the Figueroa Hotel downtown, or they go to Santa Barbara. They just have a lot of little field trips, and the social part of it, mm-hmm. that's, it's uh, pretty fun, too. So Good. Good. Yeah. Good. We do have dues, y- yearly dues. I don't even know how much they are. Seventy-five dollars. I don't, I don't, they have not risen <laughs> they, yeah. they have, since I've been a member. Yeah, Nobody's yeah. board yeah. is that inexpensive Uh, but and there are no other financial responsibilities like they you know aren't forced to buy a ticket to a sunset Mm -hmm. in the vineyard most of them do because it's so much fun but we don't require any any and they're um, not forced to have to like you said make the the breads or volunteer to do any any, it's it's what they choose they will definitely find something within their real oh yeah exactly and i joined when i was still working part-time full-time and um there was enough for me to do, enough for me to choose from, that I could still be a part of it. Mm-hmm. And we have meetings once a month that are in the morning at the first Wednesday of the month. Okay. But we also have an evening meeting on that same day. For the uh, people that do work that can't Understood. make it. Understood. Smart, so smart. Just fill them in on what's going on at the meetings. And things. I have to say it again. I don't want to overuse the word, but you guys are a very thoughtful bunch of ladies. That's just <laughs> the, the whole concept behind your organization and the programs that you've decided to put your, your time and your efforts into are very, very thoughtful mm-hmm. in terms of what we need here in the community. And I appreciate that. Oh, that's yeah. right. And I appreciate that's you what guys. That's me to this organization. I, I would imagine yeah. so, because if your time is limited, you don't want to waste it on a nonprofit that you know just out there doing willy-nilly stuff you <laughs> want you want it to be purposeful yeah. right and you know what i think a lot of us we go out and we go to other nonprofit events because mm-hmm. they're fun sure. and um you know we just this is a fun community we it all is. want to it help is. each other out so assistance league back. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Assistance <laughs> league is just um and in my job best. i get to go to all the <laughs> events if i want to because i'm talking about them and so i you know i yes. that's i think that's why i started working doing this show because I loved the events in the community. I wanted to know more about them and I wanted to get involved, but I couldn't choose one. So this way I get to highlight all of them and I get to pick and choose the ones I want to support and go to and be, and be involved with. We we really would not have anything to do in this town if it wasn't for all the events that are (laughs) nonprofit. (laughs) Oh, genie. Is anything more fun? You go to the Carousel Ranch, you do this, you go to that. Anything is fun. We love it all. So it's great. Well, I appreciate it. And again, I appreciate you ladies from the Assistance League and all that you do. We are here on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show. We're here by way of KHTS Radio. We're going to take a quick break. and We will be back on your hometown station, 98.1 FM and AM 1220. Don't go away. Santa Clarita Lanes is more than just a bowling center. It's fun, food, and parties for the entire family. In addition to their popular leagues that run every day of the week, Santa Clarita Lanes offers rooms for kids' birthday parties and game rooms. And if you love the NFL, Vincenzo's Pizza is the place to be on Sundays with the complete NFL football package, showing every game on its 10 televisions and widescreens. Whether it's bowling, birthdays, or the NFL, Santa Clarita Lanes offers the best in family entertainment. We all know sometimes people lose their way. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, The Way Out Recovery SCV may have the answers you've been waiting for. The Way Out is the premier intensive outpatient treatment center serving Santa Clarita. Asking for help is the first step. Call The Way Out today, 661-296-4444. That's 296-4444 for a private free assessment. The Way Out is an accredited, affordable outpatient program that accepts most insurance. Call us at 661-296-4444 or check us out online at thewayoutrecoveryscv.com. Quit battling with yourself. Ask The Way Out for help today. This is Jeremy Steppen, owner of Resurgence IT. With cyber threats coming at us from all directions, how can you protect yourself and your company? Coming up Wednesday, November 6th, we are hosting a cybersecurity event focused on executives and upper management. This event has one purpose, which is a call to action to prioritize cybersecurity for your business. The event runs from 7.30 to 11.30 a.m. and will include breakfast, leading industry speakers, and a practical knowledge you can take with you to protect your business. Take control of your IT before it takes control of you. 
Be on the lookout for more information on resurgenceit.com. Your hometown station, KHTS. This is the Nonprofit Spotlight Show with Janice Murray. We are back on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show. I don't know about you ladies, but I'm having such a good time. I want everybody in Santa Clarita to have a good time. You can listen to KHTS wherever you are. You can get our free KHTS app on your iPhones and Android devices. It's so simple to get KHTS news, social media, and more. The easiest way is to go to your Google Play or App Store and search KHTS. We are back with the ladies from the Assistance League. We've got, again, Jeannie Carpenter, Stacy Mayfield, and Debbie Dole. Thank you, ladies, if I don't get a chance to, because, you know, we talk too much. But if I don't get a chance to before the show's over, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come join us. We've, we've talked a lot about a lot of things. This is our opportunity to do those, oh, I, I forget. I don't want you getting in the car and go, oh, I forgot to say that, or, oh, we didn't talk about that. So yeah. let's see. We, we talked about the programs, and if there's anyone who in the community is looking for a, a place to, you know, share your passion and do things that are good for the community, Assistance League has an opportunity for you. There's something for everyone to get involved with. If you're interested in Sunset in the Vineyard as a nice adult way to get out and socialize and support Assistance League, that event is coming up November 3rd from 1 to 4, and tickets are available right now on their website, or you can go in the resale shop on on, uh, Main Street and pick up a ticket there. So is there anything else that we want our listeners to know? Well, KHTS is one of our sponsors, yes, so they are. that is really? something they might want to know. <laughs> yes. And um, but there's just it's just a really fun event to come to, and it's different than yes. the, every other event in town. I because love that. It's just on a residential street, and um, two beautiful homes that yeah. are connected. The yards are connected, and you can move through the. You can see the vineyard right it's there. Super it's casual, beautiful. It is, a, it is grass and stone, so you want to wear comfortable shoes. Oh, yeah, and we you. don't want thank you to you bring your little that. ones. Yeah, yes. no little no ones. Kids. This is, this Every, is adult only. Yeah, 21 and up. Yeah, yeah comfortable yeah. shoes is a, is a good is thing a must. to say. Yes. And we are bringing back our chocolate chip cookies. <gasps> we didn't have them last year. Oh, they are surprised. But um, <laughs> we, we're, we're going to get them again this year, and that's Wonderful. always the highlight at the Wonderful. end of the day when, when the Warm event chocolate is chip over, yes. as you can imagine. And there will be hopefully some... A, a variety of some auction items and mm-hmm. maybe a, a, a live auction item or two. We are still looking maybe. for that. So if anyone we has ask. anything, um, or if a merchant, a um, a salon, yeah. a massage place, anyone wants that's to Fort donate something, then that's Fort Williams when you go. Oh, <laughs> well, that's a good yeah. idea. You're there. <laughs> well, you know what would be really great? I mean, a few years ago we got the most amazing um, offer, and it was. Two nights at Meadowood Resort in Napa. And so what we did with that is we made that an opportunity drawing. So we sold opportunities for $50 each. And then there was one winner. And then we got extra cash. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it was wonderful. So like you said earlier, if someone's got a timeshare or an opportunity out of the community Mm -hmm. that you could make a a once-in-a-lifetime kind of experience package, that would be amazing as an auction item or uh, if someone could donate that. So they should call. Any one of the ladies would be more than happy to talk with you. The number is 661-255-1991. That is for the Assistance League. If you want to get involved, like I said, if you've got a new business in town, or is there a new restaurant you want to get your name your product out there this is a great way to do it mm-hmm. just make that donation you're you're going to be in front of you know three or four hundred or three hundred i or six hundred eyeballs at least <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. six hundred right. eyeballs at least <laughs> that's a great yeah. marketing opportunity yeah. for a company for no money just yes, make the exactly. donation. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, and then another thing that I wanted to share that we do just out of because the winemakers are so wonderful they give us a bottle of their wine and we have a raffle just for buying a ticket you get um, your ticket put in the raffle and you can bring home a giant basket of wine oh the you first, make it you make it a collective oh yes, yes. The yes. First we go collect it all oh yeah. my the, goodness so they could go home with 20 bottles or well well 10, we, 10 or we kind of learned <laughs> from our mistakes the first year we did this we were so excited and one person won 
She needed a truck. She needed a little, to, a little bring body all <laughs> of the wines home. So then the next year we thought, well, let's do cap it, cut it in half. We'll do two baskets. And I think last year we did three. I think oh, that's so cool. Because the winemakers were so generous. And they just kept saying, oh, well, here, take two. You know, we'll have this. And we Aww. also include and some to try bread this. and cheese. and um, But so that's a fun thing that you that's don't even nice. have to buy a ticket for. We just want to share. And they want to share. They're so, these Love winemakers it. are so passionate and giving that it's just, it's wonderful. How long have you guys been doing Sunset in the Vineyard? This, this is our 12th. Our 12th year. year. So yes. you've built a following in terms of your attendance, your guests, but you've also built a relationship and a rapport with these uh, uh, wine and beer makers yes. that are local and some, some and, ways And they out. have a relationship with each other. Yes. Because they've all become yes. friends. And, yes. And as you know, we have a lot of these wine places right here on yeah. Main Street. So yeah. It makes so it really wonderful. a unique yeah. event. And I know yeah. you guys have always been successful at it. I wish you a lot yeah. of success this year. Thank you. I Thank can't, you. I don't know what else to say. We, we will still, see you there. Yes. Right? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. For sure. We've still got time in this segment. Yes. Is there anything else that we want our listeners to know about Assistance League or the event? Again, don't wait till the last minute to get your ticket. They're on sale right now. The event is November 3rd. Third, um, well, so. we are planning our casino night again. Oh, so talk to me about be, that. I went to a meeting mm-hmm. for that the other day. We had a casino night. It was last year. Was your first time? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, I missed that. It was that. in the spring, okay. and it was at the Hyatt Hotel. Okay, and uh, it was really, really fun because they they had a casino company come in well, brought and the there tables. was roulette wheels and everybody sat at tables and dinner was served nice. and there was a bar nice. and it was a, a an evening to dress up Ooh, so like it was that. very very um different than mm-hmm. sunset in the vineyard and they are working on that right now for um casino next night. spring mm-hmm. it'll be sometime yeah. in march okay yeah. keep me Debbie, yeah. you're the PR lady. Yes. Keep me posted so that yeah. we can post it on our social media and get Absolutely. you some exposure for it that. It was just really a great, because uh, I showed up at that, and I'm like, this is really <laughs> fun. Because well, like you said, if you go to all the events in town, that's your entertainment if you live here in Santa it, Clarita. It had such a good vibe. Oh, good. It was so fun. Everybody dressed up. The oh, it's nice men to... were there. The women were no, there. It was just and it, and it there was, was dinner. There was a very nice dinner. So it was a full, a full yes. event. It nice. was really fun and very different. And I think our ladies really liked it, dressing up and not having to do so work. much work. For a first-time event, it, to, for it to be successful and to get a buzz behind it, that's amazing. So yeah. glad that that worked out for you guys and that you'll when do I, it again. And I know the date will let, let KHTS let yeah. know so that you, uh, you know, we can talk you about it. I, I okay, will be sure. Yeah. Keep my email. And, <laughs> yes. I think we actually have a date already. For the interview, oh in good, March, yes. oh good, wonderful. Oh, that's good. right, Jerry okay. was saying that. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. No, but that that is it's nice that we have that coming. Well, up. I like to break new stories and news and and, and tease about <laughs> stuff that's coming because this is the place to do it. So we'll keep that on our our calendars, just in the back of our minds, for an interview about that new event in March and then sometime in spring, the actual casino night yes. at the Hyatt again. Yeah, and I. I, I'm not a very good gambler, so I never have won anything. <laughs> it's not real money, though, right? No. Okay. No. So. <laughs> but, yeah. but we did have a, good, a lot of good auction items. And one of, um, in fact, my neighbor bought the auction item, which was a bread making class by mm. Speakeasy Bakery oh, for eight nice. people. Yeah. So the experiences, I think at our age, you know, we don't yes. need any more stuff. We've exactly. got a lot of stuff. Exactly. But to have an experience that Unique I wouldn't normally experience. go out and, and do on my right. own. Or a trip that I always wanted to go to XYZ place, but you know, it just never came mm-hmm. on my radar. That's amazing. Yeah, right? that's fun. That's it's fun experience plus. And who doesn't like a bottle of wine every now and then? So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Throw that in there. And that bread. Yes. And, yeah, it, just having the experience plus that um, bread maker, he's, he's, he's a great guy. So. Well, mm-hmm. I've seen oh. there on Facebook, the, pu- the pictures that they post are just uh, just. You salivate when you look at those pictures. You know? Right. Yeah. Well, they they just did. And a, not every. It's not a thing that you're going to do at home by yourself. You're just on a whim. Oh, it's so much fun yeah. to do it with people. Yeah. 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 I'd it's, and it's so. fun to to get that as an auction item. In fact, the um, Speakeasy Bakery. They he has a um, a nonprofit called Feed SCV. And just two weeks ago, they had mm-hmm. an event at uh, San Canyon Country Club. And it all went to um, helping people who Wonderful. don't have enough to eat. Yeah. Wonderful. So, 
Yeah, that's a good thing. Absolutely. We've got mm, nine minutes, eight minutes. Hmm. Well, just anyone who hasn't been to our resale store, it's really special. Give the address again, Debbie. Yeah. Okay. You have it in front of you. It is. I mean, I can't imagine turn. anybody <laughs> in town is. who doesn't it know where it Main, is. On Main Street, mm -hmm. and the building address is 24364 Main Street. Their phone number, if you want to call, mm -hmm. is 661-255-1991. And we also accept donations. And especially if there um, is a store in this area that is turning over merchandise and they want to donate it, we're very happy oh, to take so that. Oh, so you guys, there is an opportunity to shop and find something that's new. Yes, yes. Wow. And See, I didn't realize that. That's true. And we only take gently used Absolutely. items. Mm -hmm, because Absolutely. Because we only want to provide the best. I'd also like to take this opportunity to let you know that within the year, we will be moved. We bought our building, and we will be moving to a new location. That Yay! I mean, I love that you guys are <laughs> I here. Know, but I know. I tell me about that. Well, that is going to be on Boke Canyon, and it it will Bokeh on Boke Canyon and north of McBean, north of Magic Mountain. North of Magic Mountain, which it's got to be on the left side it, of the yes, street. Yes, yes, north on the left of side. The, um, north of the, on the side, of, like by the IHOP, that side? Mm -hmm. It's yes. on that side, okay. but yes. north of there. Oh, north of there. Mm -hmm. What's currently mm -hmm. there is, um, I think, the pet pet doctor the there was and a, a chiropractor. Yes, oh. yes. And um, so and it's, a, it's a standalone over. building. Oh, we, look at you guys. Purchased. I love that. And so we're in the process of remodeling that. Oh. And um, so we will have quite a larger space. Yes. To display things that we have. Wonderful. Yeah, we have pictures of the drawings of um, Put that the on your, building. Is that on your Facebook page? It's, it, well, it mm, might be, but it's yet. in the store. You can oh, see the, oh. the um, yeah, it's going to be beautiful. And How back exciting the for yes. you guys. I love that. Yeah. Oh, good good news. Yeah, good and stuff. Still, it's still great to come into our store and shop. Of course, of it's, course. It's but you, like you said, Debbie, you'll have expanding. more room, mm -hmm. so you'll have more product and amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait. I will come and check that out. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, I'm not sure when the date is. The anticipated date, I think, was April. But with any you, kind you're of moving walls and, and yes. doing oh, we're some doing we're dealing with doing doing city. Yeah. Wait, yeah. We were going through plan checks. All you, so you got to say yeah. is you're dealing with the city. We love the city, but we that means the there's city. rules and regulations right. that yes. have to be followed. Understood. And, yes. and there were several businesses in there before, a number of businesses mm -hmm. in there before, and now it's just going to be the Assistance League thrift store. So you need to So break, we need to do a lot of... Make it your of, own. Yes. Tailor it to your exactly. needs. And I the store it. Which is a great opportunity. Oh, yeah. To be able to do so this that. is going to look like a real retail store. Yes. It, the so store front that they designed yes. is wonderful. Yay! I love yeah. it. Okay, that is going to encourage people exciting. to come more. Because parking is the thing that stops me. I always just come around the back, drop off my boxes and leave because yeah. there's no parking. Now that we have the structure here, it's easier. Yeah, but, it's, yeah true. But we're to very, have your yes. own parking yeah. Yeah. on site currently really we're very nice close to the parking good. structure so that's good but then we're you know in the new building we'll have lots of parking spaces oh i'm so excited for you guys yeah mm -hmm. if they could just make a coffee place right next to it yeah who are they where'd they go <laughs> uh, yeah but anyway we're very very uh, excited about that because it's it should a be. chance to do something Pretty much from the ground up. Right. And it, it, it proves your worth in the community. It shows your success that you have done your job towards your mission and raised the funds mm -hmm. to be successful so that you need to build a bigger facility to, to support, you know, your mission. Yes. Exactly. Love it. Yeah. Love it. And that That's is exciting. our mission. You know, as we That's mentioned That's part before, of serving and, your community. Yes. In enhancing <clears throat> lives, changing the community. Providing an opportunity for those yes. at a discount who, who wouldn't. Who couldn't afford it. Exactly. And those who exactly. are very savvy shoppers to come in and notice a find that That's they want. where I get the thrill, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, that's, and in this community, if you think about it, if people who live in this community of means are donating their things there, you know that the things that are in the store are going to be of value or, mm -hmm. you know, of quality. Yes. So not like going to some of the other places. No disrespect, right. but, right. you right. know. And we do give slips for tax donations, too. 
Good. Oh, yes, you always mm -hmm, do. Mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm. you guys are very good about that. So, mm -hmm. wonderful. Yeah, that's pretty big news. No. That is, is huge exactly. news. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us know that. We've got about four minutes. I don't think we can top that story, but I'm throwing it out there, ladies. Four minutes. Anything else we want our listeners to know? Uh, well, if anybody is interested in becoming a, an Assistance League member, I would um, I really encourage you to join because you will find that you're going to make your best friends and um, have so much in common, but also be helping out the community. But what's really fun is working in that thrift shop in the back room. We get all of those donations. We go through them, sort them, and no, that can't stay. This can and this will so nice. And then we have one of our members, Carolyn Trenovich, is the most amazing decorator. Oh, so so she eye, makes right? our window mm -hmm. look like it's that on Madison Avenue. That's, that's the talent. She's mm -hmm. amazing. And all of our mannequins look beautiful. The inside of the store is gorgeous. It's, it's really mm -hmm. a great place to come shop. We get a lot of... Um, a lot of people come in just Wait because of that. Wait till she gets the new storefront to decorate. <laughs> oh She's going to have a field day. <laughs> she is amazing. Yeah. Love that. Oh, my goodness. Wow. It is, that is one of your big ways that you raise money yes, it's to major. help support your, your, pro, your, um, your programs. That is our biggest that fundraiser. That is the biggest fundraiser is the yes. store. Yes. Okay. Well, it makes us feel good because yes. we're self-sufficient in that Absolutely. way, but it doesn't mean that we don't need donations uh, toward other, you know, toward our building. Jeannie, you, know? you are reading my mind. That was the other thing I was going to ask. Okay. On yeah. your website, <laughs> is there a way for someone who maybe can't make it into the store, can't make it into the event, but they want to donate? Absolutely. Can they do that online? Absolutely, yes. There's a tab at the What's top. What's that website again? It is www.assistanceleaguesantaclarita.org. And you can make do, you can make a donation. Look on the top of the there's a tab for it, and you can make a donation. Find out about events. Uh, find out about the programs that we have. If you might be interested in anything, mm -hmm. anything you want to know about Assistance League is there. Wonderful. And if someone wants to become a member, they can just reach out and and they can go to one the of website, ladies will... or they can also go into the store. Okay. And at Sunset in the Vineyard, which they can come to. We can will sign up right yes, there. They can <laughs> sign up right there. Yeah. Wonderful. You ladies, again, I take my hat off to you. You're doing an amazing job in this community. Everything's so thoughtful and so professional, and it's a wonderful organization and, and a place filled with passionate ladies. Thank you for doing what you do. Thank you. Our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, KHTS, Jerry, and uh, Carl, and... <laughs> Yes. You know, you. I love you guys. Yeah. Love yes. doing it. We are here on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show. We are here by way of KHTS Radio on your hometown station, 98.1 FM and AM 1220. Have a great day.